Hello, everyone. I hope you are well. Thank you for joining us. Uh, my name is Julie Busby. I'm the founder of Busby Group, a residential real estate group here in Chicago. And uh, today I have my dear friend and go-to designer, Marcy Blanco. Uh, Marcy, thank you for joining us. Of course. Yes. So I wanted to bring on Marcy because uh, Marcy lives in Bucktown. I'm from Bucktown. Our office is in Bucktown. We both love Bucktown homes. And we were on the phone yesterday about a whole nother topic. And she said, I noticed your really adorable listing, 2315 West Glendale. Um, and she was saying all the great things that she loves about it. And I just, it warmed my heart because I love the home too. And uh, from one of our top designers in Chicago, it was so great to hear that. Plus, she had some really great great design tips um, that someone could bring into the home as well. So I thought it would be fun to kind of walk through the main level of the home uh, with some ideas of, of putting your own touches to it, uh, because Marcy always has the best ideas. So uh, Marcy, thank you again. And I will share my screen so we can start looking at the photos. Um, so here is the front of the home. And it's just such a great workman's cottage in Bucktown. And I know you know the location. It's directly across from Cedar Senior Citizens Park, which actually is getting new shuffleboard um, shuffleboard sets. Uh, and there is down the street from Halstein Park. And I know you love Halstein Park as much as I do, Marcy. There's your view and you get the front porch. How great is that, that you could do some really neat mm -hmm. uh, seating on the front porch? So we'll move on. There's storage. Well, I know, you know, that it's great to show. Okay. So uh, is this a good image for you to stop at? Or would you like me to go to another image that you yeah, wanted no, to chat? No, this is perfect because you get a little bit of the stairs. I mean, I think that that storage, they really, one of the things that I love about the house, they really have maximized the floor plan. I think it is as efficient as it can be. So you don't need to move any walls, add any walls. You know, the, the dusty hard work is really done. And all that's left to do is the easy, fun cosmetic stuff to really make it special. Um, and then in the living room, I actually, I, maybe the next one, I think you get a little bit more of a view of those columns. Yeah. Right there. Yes, this. Um, I actually love that you get this view, but what I would do is I would alter the mantle a little bit um, so that that mantle is a little lower and your TV can be above it. Um, you want to keep the heat barrier there because it can mess with your electronics. But I think if you lowered it, then your sofa can move to live between those two columns. And if it were me, I would do some amazing floating shelves between those two columns that you can still see through. So you still have that connection between your entry and your living room, but you get that nice uh, division of space. I love that. Uh, so just like shelves right in there. And then you could, mm -hmm. would you display things on that or just leave yeah, it? Yeah, I would probably, okay. well, like the zeitgeist right now is, um, what do they call it? Bookshelf wealth. If you Google that right now, it's all over Pinterest, all over Instagram. Um, and it's kind of transitioning into that your bookcases kind of show what's important to you and where you focus your energies. And so that's kind of, you know, your favorite books, your favorite collected objects from travel, you know, and you pottery your kids make that sort of thing that really makes a house a home. That's what I would put up there. Love that idea. Very um, cool. I would probably add some storage. I've got kids, you've got kids. We always need spaces to stash stuff. I would probably do some lower only likely built-ins to the left and the right of that um, fireplace. I would probably go upper depth. So base cabinet depth, which is typically 24 inches, but do a 12 inch depth that oh. still provides you a ton of storage, but doesn't eat too far into your space. Um, okay. And you can dash to toys, electronics, um, you know, have baskets and bas baskets of junk. When you have people coming over, it just all gets hidden in there. Love that idea. Um, so I love this layout because, you know, 10 years ago, seven years ago, everybody wanted an open floor plan. They wanted the most open floor plan. And then we hit COVID and everybody was like, whoa, we want to get away from each other. We need some walls. Um, and this honestly is a really great, middle ground. It's a really great kind of marriage of those two things. You have the dining space 
that is, um, it marries the living room and the kitchen, but the kitchen does feel separate from your living space. You do feel, you know, they do feel like two distinct spaces. And I really like that you have that nice flow. And these beautiful dark walnut cabinets are absolutely on trend for 2024. I mean, they dark walnut in darker, moodier colors and a more presence of color um, is definitely coming back. And so in this space, honestly, I would probably change out the hardware, change that light fixture. Um, you could change the frosted glass uh, in those cabinets to either fully clear to display some things, or you could do like a reeded or a seed glass. So it's a little obscured, but that would take it a little more on trend from, you know, this maybe is leaning a little more nineties, but honestly, with those two changes, the glass or three changes, glass, light fixture, hardware, which are easy peasy, take an afternoon. Um, it's a whole new space and it's completely current to, you know, what we're seeing, um, for design trends in 2024. Right. I don't think I love the color cabinet. I mean, I know people building homes right now. You, of course, we're working with you on the design and the dark wood is coming back. Yeah. So yeah. I love the reeded glass that is so in right now, too. And that's inexpensive, very inexpensive. Well, just to I, actually, I have windows over here and they're just, you know, regular windows. And I got a reeded glass uh, cling film because I wanted some, we, we face oh. the sidewalk. And so I wanted some privacy, but to still let all the light in. I ordered a roll of cling film from Amazon. You spray bottle it. And so really you could put clear glass and then do a cling film like that. And it's cheap and easy. And when you want to switch it up, it just peels right off. I love that idea. Love that. That's awesome. You can even do an antique glass, I guess. They're doing that new film for the antique glass too. But I like the read it. That's oh, a great idea. There's, yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff with really easily switched yes know, clean film and I wanted and to just adhesive things I just want to point out here so if we did those floating shelves how cool would that look right here the floating shelves here your couch shifted over here and then a black runner like Marcy said and even a black railing would be so cool or even a fun runner with a fun color and then the black uh railing that would really Absolutely. just be gorgeous I yeah. mean, there oh. are, there are a million possibilities in this space would be, I mean, you would walk in and it would be a real wow factor in the personality awesome. of the workman's cottage that you saw, you know, as you approach the front door, all of that curb appeal continues on into the inside. Love it. There, there's a good picture of how beautiful the cabinets are. They're, they're fabulous. I mean, I wouldn't dare touch them and the appliances are great. Those countertops are fabulous. Honestly, all, if it were me, I'm I, wallpaper is back in a big way and I love wallpaper. They also have wallpaper now. Um, there's a company called Milton and King that I use a ton and it's called paste the wall wallpaper. So you do not have to deal with wet wallpaper and it also peels off very easily and very cleanly. Um, so you don't have to be scared of it. Um, but all I would do here, to be honest, you get a fabulous runner in this kitchen, you change out the hardware and I would put a wallpaper up behind the range wall. And then in oh. that nook over there, swap out those pendants and it is great. Gorgeous. I mean, you know, you could do, if you did brass hardware, you could do a cute brass uh, rail underneath your hood to hang some copper mm. pots or some wood utensils. You see that all over Instagram and Pinterest too. And that immediately this starts to look extremely on trend and also really timeless. That's kind of where the trend is headed is more timeless design. So you're not pigeonholing yourself or dating your house you're you're really creating a timeless unique design love that. i love the mixing of the metals too so by doing the brass or even a copper underneath here and then the brass or copper and pulls that'd be gorgeous absolutely i mean in the yeah. pendants the two pendants could be anything and you get a peek of them from the dining room and so they really could be awesome you only need two of them so you could splurge on those and again it's an afternoon of work and you have a whole new space Love it. Such good ideas. Okay. I think that's kitchen. the main level. I think it's a, the space is incredible. Um, all of their appliances are great. I, I yeah. agree. 
Um, well, that's the, the end of the main level. And I think those are some excellent ideas. I liked what you said to me uh, that the home is just beautiful. And it, someone could come in and add just a few final touches, but the home is maxed out. They did a great job with the remodel. And now you can put your finishing touches on. And well, on that, the only space that we didn't touch on in the main level is the powder room. And that's oh. where, I mean, you can go hog wild with design and that's where people usually feel braver because it's such a you know it's usually your smallest space um and I mean you could do fabulous wallpaper if you wanted to switch out the vanity you could you don't have to but it's a, a lovely sized powder room and you could really do anything with it and it's on that that level too and then all of a sudden you know with like Damn. a weekend worth of either doing it yourself if you're a DIYer, which is all you can absolutely do any of this, um, or hiring people for a couple days, it's a whole new space, you know, it's, it's truly taken on your aesthetic, and then also fits the context of the, you know, just darling workman's cottage. So you're seeing some sort of wallpaper here, um, even maybe awesome like a black light dress fixture, mirror. cool, yeah. maybe a vintage mirror from Cherish or Facebook Marketplace or one of your favorite, you know, vintage vendors and, and, you know, a, a cool like Turkish rug or something. And it's a whole, again, a whole new space with very little, um, you know, money spent and time spent. Love it. Great ideas, Marcy, as always. Well, um, I'll make sure all of you get Marcy's information because she has great ideas and she can even do this for your home um, as well. And if you're looking for a home, she can help as you're looking at homes and get some good ideas. But I love these ideas at Lindale. Absolutely come see it uh, because it is just beautiful in person. And now with Marcy's ideas, I just feel like it's just a, an amazing opportunity for someone. It's a, a, a great home, a great location. And um, we had some great ideas shared with us today. So thank and you, Marcy. If you buy it. it, feel free to give me a call. I live right down the street. I'd be happy to yes. help. Win-win. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, perfect. Thank you, Marcy. I appreciate you as always. And um, we have another webinar coming up. So I'll see you in a few hours. <laughs> yeah.